Hey, what's up everyone? It's time to get into it for Gospel Grit. And today I want to cover something that I think is uh, re really prevalent in our time, uh, making excuses for a lot of things. And it's the issue of time. It's the, uh, the category of time. Do we have enough time? I don't have enough time. Oh, I was hoping to do this, but there was no time. Uh, I would have loved to have gone, but I had no time and so forth and so on. Now, this video is not going to address um, valid, valid reasons for, you know, things that can't be done or things of that nature. This video is just simply trying to address the fact that we actually would just waste a lot of time and I'm not immune to this. I'm not uh, somehow the exception to the reality of our day, but by and large, I would say that we are time wasters. I'm sure that if we were to get a log of the time spent um, not being uh, wise with our time, not being productive, um, I'm sure for the vast majority of us, it would show that we are not uh, redeeming the time. We're not making the most uh, uh, of our time. We're not using our time to the glory of Christ. Now, there is a time for leisure. There is a time for fun. There is a time for what you could call um you know, just pastimes that you use for your family, you use for yourself, you use to just take a break. I'm also not going to be addressing that. So don't think that I'm either saying if you're not doing everything that's, uh, you know, somehow uh, productive, then you're wasting your time. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you consider the entirety of the way that you spend your time, the way that you use your time, what I want to tell us, all of us, is you have time. You really do have time. Uh, the scriptures are clear about this. It says this in, in Colossians 4, 5, walk in wisdom toward outsiders, outsiders, making the best use of the time. Uh, we know the famous one in Ephesians 5 that says, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise. So both texts are talking about wisdom. How, the, the, there's a wise way to use your time, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Uh, right. So there's a, a, a simple reality that there's a way to walk in wisdom. And that's that includes making the best use of the time toward outsiders, toward the world around us, toward our spouses, toward our children, toward, toward our, our, our church, toward anyone who uh, we come in contact with, toward even uh, the benefit of our own soul. Uh, Psalm 90 says, so teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. So you see, there's there's so many elements. Uh, you are the Proverbs, the same realities about, you know, the, the one who loves to sleep and the one who uh, is prone to laziness. And there's always this talk of wisdom and foolishness and wisdom uh, really um, always captures those who make the most of their time, who, who use it, their time to the glory of God. So I just want to tell us we have time. We, we, we really do have time. And, you know, if we were to, again to be exposed by our phones, be exposed, exposed by Hulu, Netflix, whatever it is, be exposed by um, our, our sleep schedules, be exposed by our mindlessness and our mindless activities. I think we would realize we actually have a lot more time than we realize. Um, it was about maybe, I don't know, 10 to 12 years or so ago where I just said, you know what, I, I really want to take ownership over my time and I started making schedules. I started writing things down and I started making a to-do list. I started creating block schedules so I knew what, what what I was doing at all times with my time. So we might need to get more crafty. We, we might need to get more disciplined. We might need to get more efficient. We might need to have um, a, a way where we say, okay, I, do I have time to do everything? No, right? We have busyness. We have tasks that we have to accomplish. Uh, so I don't have time to do everything, but I do have time for important things and I need to prioritize those important things. Just because you have less free time throughout the day doesn't mean that you have zero time to do what you need to do. You have time, right? And let me address the children and the teenagers real quick. You have the most time and you have the time where you aren't worried about the responsibilities of taking care of a family. You're not worried about the responsibilities of, of paying the mortgage on your house, of, of cooking dinner, of, of taking care of the yard, right? You 
children and, and teenagers and young adults you guys have the absolute most free time and there's really nothing weighing you down so use your time to the glory of god this is the time where you need to be developing you need to be growing you need to really be uh, um, become established in who you are in christ and right now is the time where you can really set forward your future and what you want to do with your life um right now is the time to be thinking about okay when i'm uh, when you get a little bit older how can what do you want to do and start uh, being productive toward that end even now right if you're a young man and you want to work with your hands and you want to be okay um, maybe an, an, an uh, electrician or something of that nature start finding out what that looks like work on little projects now uh, if you are a young woman uh, now is a time to learn uh, some of those traits that that you need to take into your marriage um, and and these realities are are beautiful for us to see because you're being given a time lord willing by your christian parents to truly uh, hone in all those skills and all the crafts that you need to be strong men and women all while learning and being educated and all things of that nature so children and teenagers you guys have the most time right singles you guys have time and resources if you're young adults and you're working and all that's not meant to be used for your own selfishness all that's meant to be used for the enjoyment of christ the worship of christ the service unto christ and unto others couples with no kids you have more time it's just is it, it is what it is you don't have the children to take up your time right when you get somewhere uh and you need to get inside that restaurant you go you close your doors and you get to the restaurant uh, right that's already five minutes compared to those who have kids right again silly little examples but there's just more time for you there's more downtime for you and my question is how are you using that free time are you using that free time to the glory of christ now the uh, even grandparents right you th this isn't the time as grandparents or as empty nesters to use that these days for selfish reasons right again is there things that you could do that are just for purely enjoyment because god's given you the joy uh, of being able to do that of course don't don't mistake this video for saying if you're not using your time for something that's explicitly something christian right we're not gnostic but what i'm saying is um how are we redeeming the time for christ um use your time to the glory of christ whether you are a child or a grandparent whether you have more time or less time and now for uh, married couples that have children you guys are especially young children um you probably have the less least amount of time out of everyone but guess what you still have time you still have time to do what's most important you have time to to truly use your schedule to, to to take ownership of your schedule and to work hard for christ this is part of your joy this is part of the journey this is part of the adventure is saying man we got all these all these kids in this house we got all these mouths to feed but we still are going to make time to do what's most important for our family obviously family worship reading together all of that right playing outside together uh, spending time together uh, having other families around you have time i, I just want us to know we might not all have the same amount of time, but we all have time. We, we make we make time for that which we love. We, we, we truly set aside time for, for what we truly care about. So it's up to us to prioritize what's most important in our life and to really get after it, right? Uh, to truly set things and say, these are the non-negotiables. And guess what? And to enjoy the whole process, to enjoy it, to, to look at it, from a joyful joyful disposition and rather than complaining right i remember just a small example i remember when uh, i was dating isabella we lived far from each other at a certain time um of our relationship and then we would see each other and then we'd be grumpy because we only had an hour together right that's that's kind of what i'm talking about is and so that whole hour that we spent it was kind of like annoyed with each other because we just had oh we only have an hour together and then one day i just realized like why not just make the best of this hour instead of making this one hour that we have as small as it is and complaining the whole time and fighting the whole time and being frustrated the whole time so what i'm saying whether you have a lot of free time or a little bit of free time don't complain enjoy it use that time whatever it is and use that time to the glory of god so you actually have time to read your bible you have time to pray you have time to think about uh, what you're reading about what what you're hearing there's podcasts now there's 
there's uh, sermons you can listen to while driving it, it, when you're in traffic use that time uh, if you want some fellowship use the time on your drive home or you drive to work and say hey i'm going to call this person up and talk to them and and pray with them or do whatever wake up earlier get to work earlier use your breaks at work um use the the kids nap time um use use little five minute windows 10 minute windows instead of going and and, and you know doing something mindless with your time use that little time and squeeze everything out, out of you can that you can out of the day rather than going to mindless things go to something that's actually fulfilling it something that, that that you want to say hey this is what i want to do this is my task right and so like i said um yes we might not all have the same amount of free time but as you prioritize you say for this season of life this is what i really want to focus on and then what you do is you say okay let's just say that you really want to make it through it through a book of the uh, of the bible and you really want to study it right so during this two to three month uh, phase of your life you say rather than going to instagram rather than watching youtube videos rather than whatever whatever takes up your time i'm going to go to this and you'll see if you actually do that you will chip away and you will you will finish that task right so what i'm saying is you have time you have time i'm a firm believer that those who realize how short our life really is so you might be thinking well you just said i have time i have time now you're telling me i i don't have time that life's short that's exactly what i'm saying your life is a vapor your life is short but you have time you do have a vapor of a life you do have a short life but you have time in that life to do act to actually do something for christ and whether that is something as simple as being an amazing father an amazing mother that's not simple that's glorious but what, uh, whether it's that or whether it's something uh that the world would deem as grandiose like starting something crazy or like a business or or, or you know um uh, passing down some form of of uh, entrepreneurship to your son or whatever, whatever whatever the skill is i don't care i'm just trying to make things up whatever it is what i'm saying is you have time to do what you truly love and even though uh, especially for you men you might have to leave the house for 40 50 hours a week there's time when you get up early there's time to do stuff there when the kids go down there's time to do stuff there on the way to work on the way from work there's there, there's time so if i've not said this enough let me say it one more time you have time and enjoy it truly enjoy it make the most of your time christ stepped into time the eternal one stepped into uh the temporal reality that he calls time christ made the most of his life so much so that god at his baptism says this is my son with whom i am pleased no public ministry before that just being a regular uh, a regular man living his life to the glory of god and his father is pleased in that so christ stepped into time for us he used his time well he made the most of his life and in the fullness of time he came to live to die and to resurrect for us so christ is showing us he makes the most of the time so we need to make the most of our time for the glory of him who set before us in the gospel so i pray that we would be a church that wouldn't make excuses that we wouldn't complain but that we would say hey whether i have a little bit of time or a lot of time i have some time and i'll use that time for the glory of christ